Well, we're down to our third problem. And that is we have to find the derivative of f of x, which equals the square root of 4x squared minus x to the fifth. And to do this, we are going to use the chain rule. And let me show you what the chain rule is. It says if you want to take the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, with respect to x, well, that equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So off we go. Let's deal with our friend here. And the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this in terms of a rational exponent. So that's 4x squared minus x to the fifth raised to the one-half. And now we can use the power rules. So the derivative of f of x with respect to x equals the derivative of 4x squared minus x to the fifth raised to the one-half with respect to x. And by the power rule, that equals one-half. We bring the one-half down. We still have 4x squared minus x to the fifth. And one-half minus one is negative one-half. And now we'll go inside. Our g of x in this case is 4x squared minus uh, x to the fifth. We'll go inside and take the derivative of that, and we get, by the power rule, 8x minus 5x to the fourth. Now let's uh, uh, consolidate. So upstairs we have an 8x minus 5 x to the fourth. Downstairs we have our friend 2 there. We also have this 4x squared minus x to the fifth to the one-half. Well, we can uh, simplify further and we'll have an 8x minus 5 x to the fourth. And uh, downstairs we'll have our friend 2. And in place of parentheses in that exponent 1 half, we'll have a square root symbol. And inside that we have 4x squared minus x to the fifth. And there it is, f prime of x. We've done it.